Hey Nailers, bunch of new developments at Nail Innovations. One of the latest is our new Arbor Bands. So for anyone that used to use or is still using a carbide bit to remove product, um, that's one option for removing glitter and, and nail art. But it is a little bit aggressive, like it's not, it's something that you can maybe free edge prep with, but it's certainly not something I want to use anywhere near the natural nail. So instead of using the carbide, we are now using the Nail Innovations Purple Extra Coarse Bands. When I first started using them, I thought they were a little bit scary. Um, they have more grit on them, as you can see compared to the Erica's coarse Arbor Bands. Come on, focus, that's blurry. So that little bit more grit to it. And I'm, I just find it's taking product off so much faster. So if you were using a carbide, you might wanna use this disposable one because you're going to, this is going to last a lot longer than a carbide bit. Um, not that it's going to last longer. It's totally not. It's single use. <laughs> but a bag of 100 for $9 compared to the carbides that are, I don't know, $25 or $30. So compared to 200 to 300 uses out of this, out of these, you're not getting 200 to 300 out of the carbide bit. Not in my experience anyway. So the other thing that I really like about them, um, I have been noticing that lots of times with the Erica's ones, the other, when you look at where you need to put your mandrel in, it's like all bent or something. It's somehow in the cutting process. And then this does not fit because of this being all folded over. So... There were just some some things I didn't like about them. My my workaround on that when I had one end I'd, that's looking all folded is that I would bottom thread it and push it on the the good side in the bottom and then hopefully be able to get that through and then tighten it. So that's one possible workaround if you're finding that you've got that edge. With the Erica's, they're very hard and I always countersunk them. Might need a new mandrel. Look at how warped that screw is on the end. Um, with the purple ones, the NI purple ones, I'm not countersinking, and that's because they are softer. The advantage of something a little bit softer is that because it's coarse, it doesn't shred the natural nail as much. Um, but the disadvantage is that if you're trying to cut a smile line or you actually want this to be stiffer, then it's not. So I always countersunk these because they generate heat when you're filing on the nail. But the, my client's feedback in the last few months as we've been using these is that they don't generate heat. So I wanna do a quick nail prep using the NI extra coarse arbor bands. Let me have to zoom out a bit here. And then, oh, we need some ventilation. That's going to help big time. Um, so, oops, that guy kind of lost half his head. I forgot about that. Well, let's pick a bigger nail, something that's actually going to have something to file. Um, can I trim off a groove? I think so. We're okay with this? I think so, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so do a little shorten. And then the free edge prep. I don't, I find I don't have to press as hard and the product is gone. And unlike the carbide bit, which would kind of catch and be very, very aggressive because this is an arbor band. It's not catching and it's not super aggressive. The only thing I did find was that sometimes 
because they're super coarse, depending on the client's nail, it's a little bit shreddy. So instead of, whoops, looks like that natural nail is kind of disintegrated underneath. Or did we extend this last time? Oh, I think we did. Because this looks yeah. like not nail. That looks like nude yeah. extension underneath there. I think it was a broken guy. I think that one was broken. Okay. Um, so, if it's kind of shreddy on the natural nail, then I do my free edge prep and my regular nail prep. I'm going to zoom back out because it's too small of a window to operate in here. On one hand and then I'll go back and do natural nail prep at the end. I always like to remove all the product in the tip of that free edge because that's where all the separation between the natural nail and the product happens. Plus we're doing a different color, so I need to prep this color off. And so that's what I would do, is just go through and do my shortening and my free edge prep. rest of the color removal and by the time I've done that generally on one hand it's wearing down my bit um, just kind of taking some of the, the bite out of it so that it's a little bit safer to use on the natural nail when I switch to my by the time I get to the next hand it's usually totally um, smoothed out enough that I can go straight to the natural nail um, after, at, within each finger. I don't have to do all the free edge prep. And yeah, so now as I'm prepping, I've done pretty much that whole hand. And if we look at that, I keep bumping this with my machine. We're not creating that shreddy nail anymore. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for you guys that are in love with the carbide because I was a, a carbide fan for a bit, but I found it was almost like messing with my time because I had to switch bits and so looked for what other options and experimenting with the coarser Arbor Band and I'm really, really loving it. And I find it does kind of reduce the, the amount of time in my fills. And uh, what else do I love about it? My clients say there isn't um, heat transfer. There's a few people that are super, super sensitive. And it doesn't matter what you do to them. They're the ones that every time you practically touch their finger with the machine, they feel like it's hurting or vibrating. And on those people, I have to go back to using like the Erica's coarse Arbor Bands. But when I do, it just seems almost like painful because it seems to take so long for the product to come off. And not painful for them, painful for me at the other end because the product is not coming off as fast as my eye feels like it should be coming off. It's just taking so much longer. And my hands get more sore. So I feel like with the Erica's coarse arbor bands, my hand is doing most of the work. Whereas with the Nail Innovations purple extra coarse arbor bands, I feel like the machine and the and the the bit are doing the work and my hand just has to guide it and the bit does the rest of the job for me.
kind of like maybe it should. So check it out, nailnerds.com, products, files, and e-files, and look for these pretty purple bands.